What's up guys, Hobo88 here, and welcome back to R Factor for some more dirt content. You can see I've got um, Sheldon Hordenschild's number 93 410 wing sprint car, and I'm going to go racing. Um, I got inspired because for those who have been following, um, iRacing will be releasing dirt for their service uh, either at the end of this year or early next, and uh, yesterday they released a screenshot of their sprint car at Aldora, uh, work in progress, and I got very excited by that and decided that I wanted to come in here and do some laps. So I took a look through some of the requests. Um, there's a few good choices, a lot of people requesting sprint cars, and um, the winner is Kenny Hoffman, who said, could you do 410 sprint cars winged at Lincoln Speedway? So I decided to have a look. Uh, Dirtworks Designs don't do a Lincoln Speedway version, um, so I had to dig a little deeper, and um, a big uh, a big shout out uh, to Zach Parson, who contacted me uh, and said that he has uh, created a few tracks, and he's got a Facebook page for those tracks, and one of them is Lincoln. So I'll put a link in uh, the description to this Facebook page, so you can go and check out his work. Um, he has done a great job. There's a couple of things that need to be sort of tweaked and changed a bit um, to get this to work properly. Um, weather, so it doesn't rain. Um, can't do night because the lights don't work at night. Um, and there's a couple of things that are just not quite 100% polished like you'd see in a Dirtworks Designs track. But um, all in all, this is a fantastic recreation of Lincoln Speedway. So big shout out to Zach. Thanks for sending through that. And that means there was a few of you who'd requested Lincoln. So it means that I can bring that to you guys on the channel. Um, so yeah, big thanks to him. Before we get started, I'll just have a quick look here um, at the settings. So the rules and difficulty, you can see here that I've got an afternoon start time because um, the lights don't work at night, so afternoon start time. Everything's turned off here in the difficulty except for invulnerability. Um, I'll quickly show you the rates because people are always asking me about how my wheel and everything's set up. So um, as far as this goes, um, I've got 260 or so degrees of rotation on my Logitech wheel. And this is the force feedback and rates and things that I've got set up at the minute. So you can have a look at that and replicate it if you like. Um, I'll quickly go to the garage, make sure that that's maxed out. I might quick just shorten up the gears a little. Uh, and then we'll go out and do some practice laps. I won't do many, the AI is a bit a bit dodgy in practice sessions and you'll also notice here that the ground in the pit area is a bit dodgy. Um, and you sort of fall through it. <laughs> in spots, so. Um, and the entry itself onto the track is a bit dodgy. and. You see the AI have all sorts of trouble trying to get that correct. Hard enough for me. But you see these cars here just sitting here doing donuts and stuff. So we'll only do a couple of quick laps here just to make sure everything's set up correctly. I think everything's going to be all right there. I'm not too worried about all that. Um, <laughs> the uh, the start, I've also had to change the rolling start. The typical rolling start doesn't work here. The default is actually a standing start, which in sprint cars is not really right. Um, so I had to change the rolling start as well to a fast rolling uh, because with a typical rolling start, there's a pace vehicle. And for whatever reason, the pace vehicle goes backwards. So um, we're going to go ahead, we're not going to qualify, we'll start the race from the back. Um, as always, we've got about 15 cars or something, 15, 16 cars to race against. And the AI seem to behave themselves perfectly fine once they're on track and started correctly like this. It's only trying to get onto the track where they have enormous problems, so... I think we should be all good. And I have to say that the actual quality of the track itself is fantastic. Go, 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 go. Of 
caught napping a little bit there at the start. So a couple of little things, I have some trouble with frame rates here. I think that's to do with the dust effect, but I'm not sure. It's um, all in all fantastic job, the track is great. So let's see if we can work our way forwards. Not an easy place to pass. Try and run the pole. A little bit maybe. Seems to be where they're not running. run up there off turn two on the bottom. Not so good down here in three and four. And as we start to spread ourselves out, we'll hopefully be able to get back up higher on the track. Because I'm not a big fan of running on the bottom. And neither is Sheldon Horton show this car we are driving in, so wouldn't do us justice to run around on the pole the whole way. Put the inside fence a bit there. Got about three cars there, I think. Oh, contact. Certainly better down here in one and two than I am in three and four. Oh! We about went around there. That was as close to a spin as you're going to get. They are much quicker down into one and two. Run it into me. Oh, there's a crash. And it should just avoid it. I think I've got yellow flags turned off, so we won't have a caution. Let's hope they sort themselves out. Get back into a rhythm. A little bit of space to move and breathe now. Such a tight, pokey little track. Struggling to move forward here. Big lag, frame lag there. I don't know if you saw that. Might 
can't have the difficulty turned up just a fraction too much. These guys are certainly a little bit quicker than what I thought they'd be. Whoa! Got help with the turn a little bit there. actually focus and hit my marks. Got the inside fence though. In a pretty scrappy drive. Won't be too far from the finish either. lap race and the laps go pretty quickly here. Actually made a move, made a pass. Really. is certainly where I'm quicker. I think some of this is lap traffic, which is what's slowing everyone down. Oh, that car checked up. Checkered flag. That's it. 30 laps. Lincoln Speedway in the sprint car. <laughs> and they've all all had a bad day trying to get into the pit exit there at the last second. <laughs> anyway, it's been really good fun. Thanks for the suggestion, Kenny. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video as well as everyone else who was suggesting that I have a run in the sprint cars again. Um, <laughs> also thanks to Zach Parson of the track because I couldn't have done this video without him um, this is a pretty good version uh, of Lincoln Speedway I have to say it's pretty impressive um, and I think you've done a great job so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one